Hello friends. In this video, we are going to solve a problem on how to derive the transfer function when the state model of the system is given to us. So let's solve the problem. So our problem is we are given a single input single output system whose state variable description is given as this x dot equals to minus 5 minus 1 3 minus 1 x1 1, x2 2, plus 2 5 u y equals to 1 1 x1 1, x2. This is the state model of the system and we have to find out the transfer function using this state model. So let's try to solve this problem. Now we know that the general form of the state model it is given by this is the generalized state model where a b c and d are the matrices x is the state vector and u is the input and y is the output now if we compare this generalized state model with the state model given to us in the question then we will see that the a matrix is given by minus y 3 minus 1 and 1 this is the a matrix then b matrix is given by 2 5 this is the b matrix if we compare the output equation then this will become the c matrix and d matrix is absent so d will be zero so we have got the values of all the matrices a b c and d okay so let's write the value of all the matrices Now we have to find out the transfer function. So the formula for transfer function uh, using the state model is given by transfer function it is the ratio of the Laplace transform of the output and the input. Okay, so we have the output as ys and input is xs. So it's come out to be This is the formula for the calculating the transfer function using the state model. Here we have the matrices C, A, B and D whose value are known to us. We have uh, known their values from the question. So we have to just put the values of these matrices in this formula and we can easily calculate the transfer function. So for this we have to first calculate this SI minus A inverse okay so this first we will calculate si minus a so it will be this s has to be multiplied with i i is an identity matrix having the same dimensions as that of a a is a two cross two matrix so identity matrix you have to choose is also of the dimension two cross two so you have to multiply s inside identity matrix has all its diagonal elements equal to one so when one is multiplied with s then all the diagonal elements they will also become s so s 0 0 s minus minus 5 this is our a matrix so we can easily calculate this si minus a it will be s minus minus 5 so s plus 5 
zero minus minus one, so plus one. Then zero minus three, minus three. S minus minus one will be S plus one. So this is our matrix SI minus A. Now in this formula, we have to calculate SI minus A inverse. So we will calculate SI minus A inverse now. Inverse of a matrix is calculated by dividing the adjoint of the matrix by its determinant. So we have adjoint of SI minus A divided by the determinant of SI minus A. Now adjoint uh, for calculating the adjoint we have to we have this SI minus A matrix we just have to interchange these two element, uh, elements and we have to change the sign of these two elements then we can calculate the matrix uh, the uh, adjoint of a 2 by 2 matrix for 3 by 3 matrices we have to do the calculations but for 2 uh, 2 cross 2 matrices it's very simple you have to just interchange these two elements and you have to change the sign of these two elements okay so we are here we will have s plus 1 1 will become minus 1 minus 3 will become plus 3 and this is s plus 5 so this is adjoint of si minus a now we have to calculate the determinant so determinant is we have to multiply s plus 5 into s plus 1 minus of multiplication of this minus 3 and 1 so it will be s plus 5 into s plus 1 minus of minus 3 so it will become plus 3 so this is the determinant and the numerator part is the adjoint of si minus a so this is the inverse of si minus a let's just simplify this This will become if we multiply s square plus uh, s square plus s plus 5 s. So it is 6 s plus 5 plus 3. Okay. So this will become s square plus 6 s plus 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. So if we uh, simplify this, it will become s square plus 4 s plus 2 s plus 8. So we will get s plus 4 and s plus 2 as the two factors. So we have just multiplied it. We have this quadratic equation. We have got the roots of this equation. So we have s plus 1 minus 1, 3 and s plus 5 divided by s plus 4 and s plus 2. Now we have to uh, put the value of this si minus a inverse in this formula we have c this is the c matrix 1 and 1 b matrix is also there so we will just multiply all these so we can get the value of the transfer function this is the formula for the transfer function we will substitute the values C matrix is given to us as 1 and 1. SI minus A inverse we have already calculated. So we will just substitute its value. We have the determinant also. So we will write the determinant value here. S plus 4 and S plus 2 okay then we have the b matrix which is 2 and 5 and d matrix is 0 so we have 1 upon s plus 4 s plus 2 then we will multiply these two matrices or we can also multiply these two matrices first we will do the this multiplication 1 into s plus 1 is s plus 1 plus 3 then we have 1 into minus 1 this will be mi minus 1 then 1 into s plus 5 so it will be s plus 5 then we have 
2 and 5. So now we will have 1 upon s plus 4, s plus 2, then s plus 1 plus 3 it will become s plus 4 and this will become minus 1 plus s plus 5 so it will become s plus 4. So we have s plus 4 and s plus 4 here. So we will multiply this. This will be 2 s plus 4 plus 5 into s plus 4. Now we have to divide this. Just multiply it is 1 upon s plus 4 s plus 2 and inside we have 2s plus 4 to 8 plus 5s plus 5 for 20. So we have 5 and 2 that is 7s plus 28. Okay. So our if we see our transfer function is 7s plus 28 upon s plus 4 and s plus 2. Now we can take 7s common. So we have ts equals to 7s plus 4 upon s plus 4 s plus 2. Now this s plus 4 and s plus 4 can be cancelled out. So our resultant transfer function comes out to be 7 upon s plus 2. So this is our answer. So using the state model, we have derived the transfer function using the formula C si minus A inverse B plus D. We have the value of the ABCD matrices from the state model which is given to us in the equation. We have just simply calculated the SI minus A inverse and substituted the values of all the variables in the formula and then we calculated the transfer function of the system. So I hope that this problem is clear to you. Thank you.